Hello and welcome to this Cinema 5D quick tip video. I'm Florian and today I want to talk to you about LUTs, how to use them in DaVinci Resolve and how to avoid a very common mistake a lot of people do when using LUTs in Resolve. This Cinema 5D quick tip video is supported by MusicVine, beautifully produced music for film and video and Hollyland for a better view. LUTs come in small files that you can load into your color grading software and apply to your footage. The colors of this footage are now transformed. You can use them to normalize log footage, match cameras together, or you can put a creative grade on your material. Let me show you how I like to work with LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. We start in Resolve's media page. First, make sure that uh, under File, Project Settings, Color Management, DaVinci YRGB is selected. There are other options here and these other options warrant their own videos, but for this demonstration we stick to DaVinci YRGB. Click Save. Alright, we have uh, two different shots here that are recorded on a Sony FS7 in uh, log mode, so you would need a lot to make them look nice and crisp. In the media page, you can assign LUTs to one or more shots. Let's do this, let's select two shots. Right click and select 3D LUT Sony SLOG3 2709 Type A. And voila, immediately these shots look crisp and nice. I call this method adding a LUT on a clip level. If you do that, this LUT remains with the clip throughout Resolve. If I for example move to the edit page, you can see that my clips already have the LUT on them. Let's go back to the media page and remove the LUTs we have put on there by right-clicking the clips and selecting no LUT. They go back to being washed out and boring. In the color page, there is a much more flexible way of adding a LUT to uh, a shot. And uh, you can do that on a node level. So every node in a flow can have a LUT on it. So right-click on the node, go down to LUTs, 3D LUT, Sony, and we select the same LUT we had before and again we're back to a crisp picture and we can start our grade from here. One benefit of using LUTs in the color page instead of the media page is that if you keep your LUT on a separate node, you can come down to the key section and you can, by adjusting the output gain of the node, dial in the strength of the LUT from zero 200%. So you can choose how much the LUT affects your image. Let's move on to this shot here. I have prepared a little demonstration here to show you why it's important that LUTs are the last element in a grading. I have uh, three nodes here. These nodes don't do anything yet. And this last node has the LUT on it to convert it from S-Log to 709. Let's try something. Let's go to this first node here. Let's go into the into the curves section, lock the curves, and we overexpose this shot. You can see we are crushing the whites and the white up there in the uh, waterfall gets completely blown out. Now we move to the next node in our grade and we bring down the exposure on this node. And what you can clearly see is that I can recover the highlights that I have blown out in the node before. That works because DaVinci has a 32-bit floating point color engine. And theoretically, no information is ever lost between nodes. One exception being a LUT. A LUT does actually clip the information. Let's move on to the next example. The node graph looks quite similar like the one we just did. With one exception, the LUT is not at the end of the chain, 
but between the overexposed node and the compensate node. So let's do the same thing again. We go to the overexposed node, we blow out the highlights in this waterfall, and then we come to the compensate node and we try to reduce the exposure. Notice we are not able to recover the highlights we have blown out. That's because the LUT sits in between those corrections and clips everything that is outside its scope. So, go back to our prior example, always try to keep the LUT last in your chain of notes in Resolve. I hope this gives you a basic idea of how to work with LUTs. Remember, there are multiple ways of doing things. I don't know them all and even after 10 years of using Resolve, I'm still learning. If you have questions, ideas or any useful tips yourself, please share them in the comments. For me, it's Servus from Austria.